everyone. Welcome to our class today. My name is Christine. Today's class is going to be a cardio mix class. We're going to work on cardiovascular movement that will improve our circulation, elevate our heart rate, and improve our overall uh, cardiovascular health. Then we're going to move on to some toning, strengthening, and stretch. So we'll kind of mix it up and combine various exercises to really bring you to your optimal fitness level. So let's get started. First, we just want to kind of review our posture and our positioning in the chair. So take a second to make sure you're not really sinking low in the chair. Your hips, the idea is you don't want to be down. You always want to be lifted. So we use the image of an imaginary string through the center of our body, lifting through the top of our head so we're nice and tall. And again, feel that the abdominal muscles are pulled in and contracted towards the lower back. Neck is nice and long. Let's take a nice deep breath up. Lift that chest and exhale, bring the body forward again. Inhale, reach out of the hips, nice and tall, hold to the ceiling, and exhale forward. We're gonna take that one more time. Deep breath in through the nose, all the way up, hold, and exhale, round that body, excellent. Now as we lift our chest, let's slowly keep our palms to the ceiling, warming up the arms and breathing. Now again, try not to slouch back. The body is placed in the center of the chair. Then we're gonna add the same arm, same leg. So think like you're tossing a ball behind you, working through that shoulder and gently tapping that heel. Don't slam the heel down. So we're extending on the quadricep, bending and working through the hamstring. So we're working our legs in both positions right there. Let's take a few more. Now this time, Let's lower our arms and tap our toe. So we're flexing our foot. Now we wanna tap our toe. Our palms are down and kind of do like a reach up to the side of our ears. Again, lifting, tightening those abs right there. Again, I'm gonna take it four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna incorporate a little balance as we stretch and really extend. Now see I'm lifting, if you can, that foot off the floor, straightening the leg, engaging those abs right there. Head nice and long, squeeze that upper back right there. Let's do four, three, two, one. Back to a gentle march, shake it out. Now bring those arms up to your sides right here. Now we're gonna crisscross and pull out. Again, bring it over and out. Again, sitting really tall as I march. And notice, I don't wanna shuffle my feet. I really wanna shift my weight onto each foot. So I'm working right there. Four, it's even. Three, really push back. Two, once more. And one. Now holding here, reach it over the head. Now as we're getting a little warmer, we can increase our speed just slightly. But see how, again, I'm extending to my full range of motion. Everyone's range of motion may be a little bit different. If you can't go as high, I still want you to put energy into that. So see how I'm kind of lifting out of my waist? Or I can go a little bit higher. Let's take it four, three, two, one. Back to your nice gentle march. Now my arms are down, just shake them out. Gently tip that head to the left, center, and right, center. Now let's just pull forward, push it in. And again, I'm getting deep into those core muscles as I extend that leg. Let's take four, three, two, one, holding it there. Now reaching, let's just get a stretch before we start our movements there. Reach that chest up into a V and exhale forward. Let's take that one more time. Reach up into a V right there, hold and release down. Now remember, no bouncing, it's just breathing through that stretch, keeping that head neutral. Never drop the head below the heart. The head always stays above the heart. Move that foot in, flexing right. And again, I'm lifting out of that waist. I'm exhaling. My head is nice and long. Release. Now as I come down, I'm hinging forward from my hip, so I really feel my hamstring. I'm gonna come up, tightening those abdominals, and I'm gonna reach forward again. Nice long stretch right there. Drop those arms, just breathe and hold. Stay, bring that body up. Now just kind of shake out those arms. Now we're gonna do a side lateral movement. 
So again, we don't only want to go in front with our legs. We want to open up our hips into that nice side lateral movement with a little punch, punch. Now see how I'm kind of staying center first, but I'm pulling my shoulder back. So I'm engaging my upper back. Now let's add a little rotation. So we're working that oblique to the side and reach. Again, I'm tightening my abs right there. Four, three, two, one, back to our march. Now my right palm is on top of my left hand right here. Now I wanna press down and lift, squeeze. So I'm not just using that hand. When I'm coming down, I'm tightening. So my belly button is contracting in, but I'm not lowering my chest. So watch this movement. I don't wanna do this. I don't wanna come down all the way. I wanna get that action in the core. And I'm exhaling right there. I have four, three, two, one. Now push and touch. So again, let's get that momentum. Look at my elbows. They're to the side, working on that posture right there. I have four, three, two, one. Now again, crunch, crunch, pushing down, working it right from that core. Let's take four, three, two, one. Now touch it out, out. Now lifting that knee, exhaling up. So we really want to get the momentum on that and reach. So I'm really feeling that up in my shoulders. If you cannot raise that leg, just tap that toe, but make sure that weight comes off of that foot or I'd rather have you lift if you can. Try to work with that. Four, three, two, one, circle it out. Release that head. So again, I'm getting that momentum on those feet. Now I want to stir forward stir up again i'm coming down and up now we're gonna have a little fun with this so think like you have a mixing bowl here we're mixing around tighten those abs now watch my feet i walk it out and up right there so it's like a rocking chair forward keep that head nice and straight and up walk it out and up let's take four and up three and up, two more. I really feel that high into my shoulders. One more. Out and up. Now shake it out. Just get those arms, blood flowing. Now we're gonna tap it here, right there. Now nice, strong, solid movement. And again, as we build up into this exercise, we wanna kinda of see if we can go a little faster, right there. Out, out. I have four, three, two, one. Now tap tap take it over so i want a little twist with that waist a little tap one two three now let's get those arms higher so see i'm doing a little touch touch and using my waist side to side right there work it again sitting really tall tap those knees again it's a tap so big movements don't be like this i need to see that big right there over that head now take it higher up now let's add to this we come out out let's drop it down and up right there tap tap up up so let's take it over and up two more over with the touch and up one more over with the touch and up shake it out so you should really be feeling that up in those arms a slight little burn there so let's get a little stretch, hug your body, turn to your left, relax that head, and kind of come forward right there. Come up, other side over, and push it down, excellent. Now, this time, shake out those arms. Now we're gonna tap that heel one more time, get a nice solid frame, we're gonna come chest, shoulders, chest, shoulders with that cardio. Now let's build that up a little bit. Elbows come together and up, together and up. Let's do four, three. So again, doing these repetitions over and over is gonna really create a muscle burn in turn, creating more tone and strength. Two more, two and one. Now bring it forward and slow reach back. So it's a row movement, row. So open those hands and then like you're pulling on a rope, pull, Pull right there, breathe, breathe. I have four, 
three, two, one, shake it out. Now just shake it out here. Now sit really tall in that chair. We're gonna take a side touch, side touch with that heel forward, heel forward. So again, you're not here in front. I want it at an angle out to the side and then add a little reach. So if you're a little more flexible, I want you to come down to the side, down, 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 four more. One, two, three, four, march it out. Now as you march, really get those arms going to a nice little punch, like we're boxing. Pull it up, up, a little faster. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push forward, pull it over the head. So get those abs and those lower back muscles working, pull it up, and exhale when I come down, up, two more. Tighten those abs and lift one more. Tighten those abs and lift right here. Now reach, 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 bring it forward. One, two, a little coordination, march and reach. Reach, reach, heel touch forward, it's one. Two, three, take it up and pump, 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 tap it out, it's one, two, two more sets. Push, 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 press it out, it's four, three, two, one more set. So I really feel that blood flowing, punch it out again. One, two, three, four, pull it out. Now lifting over the head, nice tall, bending and reaching. Now look at my knees, they're not separated, they're together. So as I squeeze my thighs, I feel those abs, I feel that waist. I have four, three, two, one, take it here. Now let's just push back, tight stomach, come forward. So think like you're pushing away, push that wall away, bring that wall forward. And the whole time I'm not tensing my shoulders, I'm contracting my abs, squeezing my thighs, two more. Exhale, wanna isolate right there, back and center. Now, place your hands on the shoulders, my knees are together. Watch what I do here, both legs extend, come back. Now try to see if you can lift them off the floor. If that's too much, let those heels rest on the floor. But if you can, I want you to extend. So leg extension, leg curl on the way back. Reach those arms, pull it in. Exhale, I want you to hold that posture. Out, if that's too much, take a break and then you can just come here if that's a little better for you. So remember, there's two levels, this is level one. Level two, I really want you to try to reach and press. Exhale, keep that head straight. I have four, three, tighten the stomach, two, now hold that position, hold, really use those abs. Take it all the way down, control, excellent. Clasp those arms behind you and kind of pull those arms down as you release that lower back. Inhale and exhale, hang a little bit lower. Now we wanna come up and again, we wanna avoid any tension on our back. So we wanna place our hands on our thighs, round that back, but notice how I'm not dropping my chest. My chest is still up, it all happens in that core. Then I sit tall again, exhale, contract, and sit tall, I have one more. Contract, and sit tall. Now, placing those arms side, watch what I do here. I twist to the knee, then I stretch it over my head. So I'm working on, on core and oblique. So I'm nice and soft, look at my knees, they're squeezing together so I get that resistance creating more tension, which will build more strength. Exhale and inhale, same thing. Really get that rotation in the waist and reach, same thing. Rotation in the waist and reach. I have four more, four, don't rush it, and push, three, and push, two, and push, I have one more, one, and press right here. Now kind of move those shoulders back and forth. Release that neck, two and one. Now arms at my sides, slowly hinge that back forward. Place your hands in the front of the calves. 
Now what you want to do is take a long deep breath in. As I exhale, I lower. My goal is to reach to my shoes. That really releases my back. Hold for at least 10 seconds as you breathe normally. Just stay there. Now slide up as tall as you can. Remember that string. I'm sitting really tall. Again, deep breath in. And exhale, slide all the way down. Don't tense, just hang. Relax that neck, stay right there. Just hold, bring that body up, excellent. Now let's roll those shoulders back, open that chest, and out. Now let's move on to some toning and strengthening exercises. So what I'd like to do is slide a little further back in the chair, and then remember, you're opening, don't round those shoulders, open, sit as tall as you can. Now we're gonna bring that right arm over the head. Now watch what I do here, I'm gonna extend my left leg. And what I wanna do is I wanna tap it in, stretch it out. And this will keep me really solid in my posture and balance. So knee bends, knee straighten. So again, we're doing that quad. Again, leg extension, let's do four. Four, and we're incorporating a little balance with this. Three, and hold. If that's too much, keep the leg closer to the floor if that's easier for you. I just want to make sure the goal is to move every inch of the body. So it doesn't matter if the leg's lower, you just want to keep moving it. One more, in and hold. Now reach that arm over the head and think of coming forward right there. Inhale and exhale, lower that arm right there. Now we're in the same position. We're going to work one side and then we're going to switch to the other side. So see how my feet are staggered, my left is forward, my palm is open. Now again, do not drop the head down. See how I'm just hinging slightly from my hip? My abs are tight, my left arm is relaxed. I'm gonna do a bent row, then a front lateral raise. Bent row, head is straight, lateral raise. And don't make a fist, I don't want any um, clamping of the hand right there, you just wanna squeeze that back and lift. Because sometimes when we make that fist, we put too much tension in our wrist. So this time we wanna pull it up, squeeze that back, Front lateral raise, let's do four. Exhale and stretch again. Three, really engage that upper back. Two more, exhale two and reach. I have one more, up and reach, excellent. Now let's just hug that arm around, gentle rotation, relax that head, inhale and exhale. A little bit more of a turn, hold it there, release that arm down. Now this time we're going to start on the opposite side. So we're going to extend this time our right leg, our left arm is up. So remember, we're sitting in the center of that chair. We're going to take it down and up, engaging that core. Remember, if it wants to be lower, that's fine. And stretch. So really feel that shoulder when we come down. Lift that knee into that bent knee right there. Again, I'm engaging my ab when I lift or it can be lower. Let's take four more. Don't rush it, one and out, two and out, three, keep it moving, four and out, excellent. Now lower, foot is staggered, bend, hinge forward from that hip, open that palm. Now relax that neck. Now see again, I'm not opening that elbow. You can't see my elbow, it's behind me. I'm engaging my back. Then I'm doing a lateral raise, my palm is open. Squeeze and reach. So remember the exhale is on the lift. Lift, engaging my abs and press right there. Squeeze and reach, keep this going. Squeeze and reach, I have four more. Four, take it out. Three, take it out. Two, use that upper back, and out, one, and out. Sit up straight. Now again, hug it, turn that head, relax that neck all the way around. Stay right there and hold. Now bring the arm down, and let's take a nice reach. Use all the space. Inhale, and exhale. Really let that waist drop. Now open that chest, look back towards that arm. We really want to engage into those stretches right there. 
And remember, don't rush. You can hold them longer if you want. I say 10 seconds because we just want to at least get some kind of flexibility on that. But you can hold it 20, 30 seconds, whatever you prefer. Really get that energy. So see, again, I'm not just lifting to the side. I'm pressing. So I'm really lengthening. Inhale. As I exhale, that gravity takes me down. Now think about what you're doing when you're sitting here. You're tightening those abs. Don't relax them. Look back towards that hand. Stay right there. Breathe. Don't bounce. Side reach again. Just hang all the way down. As low as you can. Stay. And open. Now kind of just roll those shoulders. Get that chest open. Two. And one. Now let's sit back in our chair again. Focusing a little bit more on our core and abs. And I always try to avoid any kind of pulling on the neck. So notice how I place my hands, only side. Even if I'm gonna put them on my head, I don't grip it, it's just a light fingertip. But let's take it here, not too far back. You wanna see those hands. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it down and up again, squeeze. So see I bend, I tighten my abs, I lift it up. Down, let's just do four, then we're gonna to add to this. One and up, squeeze those thighs, two, and up, three, press it under, four, and lift. Now right from here, down, a little rotation. So I'm really focusing on that oblique and that core. And as I bend, see I squeeze my thighs together for more resistance and twist again. Exhale, twist, let that head follow. I have four, and twist, three, nice wide elbows, Two more, two, and twist, one, and twist. Now hands on those thighs, open that chest, and just hinge forward, relax that neck. Now inhale, as I exhale, my hands are on the sides of those legs, I slide them down. So as, and I use this as a gauge, so as I reach towards my feet, I can really feel that back muscle releasing in the lower back. Just stay there, and hold, excellent. Now let's come up and let's do a little flexion for the back. That will stretch it out a little bit and create more strength. So slide up a little bit. We're right in the center of the chair. Palms are facing the back of the chair. So like you're slapping the back of the chair right there. So now what I want you to do is you're gonna come down, hold, and then upper back as I pull up. So the inhale, down, exhale, upper back. So engage, tighten those abs. Press down, head is long, and pull up. I have four of those. Four, nice and slow. And pull it up again. Three, this is just stretching out our backs. Lift, pull it up, two more. Breathe and release. Pull it up and lift, I have one more. Breathe and release, lift, and hold right here. Now my arms are back, my feet are flat. I'm taking it under, taking it in. No tension in those shoulders, so slap it back, working those arms right there. Exhale, back, I have it five more times. One, so this goes into our tricep. Two, three, four. Now hold, turn those palms up, little bicep contraction. Now see how I'm not locking, I'm not locking out my elbow. I'm keeping that contraction, but no tension. Isolate those shoulders, shoulders down. And look at my posture, I don't wanna be low in the chair, I wanna be high, squeezing my knees together for more resistance, right there. Exhale, five, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. Now kind of just shake it out. Clasp those arms behind you on the chair and open that chest, but drop that head so you're really extending those shoulders, extend those legs, my heels are flat. Now reverse that stretch, contract in right there. Hold, excellent. Come down, place those feet flat. Now we're slowly, range of motion, nice back stroke back with the right. And then with the left, we're gonna do that two more times. Right back, stroke back, one more. And reach right there, excellent. 
Now let's just separate our knees just slightly, hands at our sides. We want to push up and up. Now look at, let's stop a minute and look at our form. We don't want to be turned, we want to be forward so you can see me. And what I want to feel when I come down is that full stretch through that waist. Exhale, I'm pulling in my stomach, my head is long. Here we go. Over, over, let's do four more. One, two, three, four, and rest. Now, feet together, we did a lot of lifting and a lot of back movement, so we wanna stretch our lower backs a little bit. So take your hands, clasp them underneath the right thigh, now, now I want you to sink back and see, as you sink back, try to lift that knee, drop that head. You can even keep it lower, but I really want you to contract down. That will take the stress off the back. Now slowly grow tall out of the hips, lift and hold. Do that again, contract down, relax that neck, tighten those core muscles, stay. Grow tall out of the hips right there, excellent. Now gently place that foot on the floor the opposite hands underneath the left. And the same thing, you can stay on the ground, but you really wanna get that contraction or raise. See how my foot is dangling, I drop my head. Breathe and hold. Lift right out of that waist, right there. Again, contract down, drop that head. Stay low, hold it there, good. Contract up out of that waist. Now my feet are gonna extend in front of me. My arms are at my sides. Now I'm reaching here, side to side. Just let's release that lower back right there. I have four, three, two, one, and hang, drop that head. Now place those feet flat, inhale, and exhale a little bit lower, good. Now think like you're hugging a beach ball, your feet are flat, you have one rotation to the right, squeeze those fingertips, and center. Left, take it around, and center two more. Right, and center one more. Left, and center. Now open those arms, and then kind of just float them down, relax that neck. Now let's reach that arm up, and try to get a longer stretch to the side than we did in the beginning. Inhale, and exhale. And again, don't crouch down. Think of lifting up out of those hips. And you'll feel that stretch differently if you lift up out of those hips. Other side, core muscles are contracted. Up, inhale, and exhale. Let that whole body drop. And remember, not down, you're always up. Again, I repeat myself a lot, but it's important to be really lifted, good. Now clasp those arms together, stretch those legs, and contract forward. Just release that neck. Inhale and come out a little bit further. Relax the arms. And in the end, we always want to do these stretches slow so we're not pulling any of our muscles. Lift our chest, bring it in right, left. Now let's do a nice slow stretch with our left ear to our left shoulder. Go a little bit further, inhale, and drop those shoulders. Lift that head, go to the right, inhale, and exhale, drop that shoulder, good. Now head center, remember that string, I'm nice and tall, rotating those shoulders, two, and one. Now nice deep breath, use all the energy in through our nose, exhale out through our mouth. Two more times, we never can have enough oxygen, all the way up, hold, and release. I have one more deep breath in, lift to the sky, and exhale all the way out. You guys did a great job today. Just remember to pay attention to your form when we're doing these workouts. Drink enough water, staying hydrated is really important for your muscles and your joints, and also to have more energy. So please make sure you drink enough water, do a little stretching in between, and I really look forward to our next session. Stay strong.